Hi, this is Dominic Kirby. I'm your webmaster. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you make your staff website using Google Sites. Your staff website will be a great way to communicate with parents and students, so let's get started. First, you're going to navigate to the Tetra homepage at www.tetraacademy.org. On the left navigation bar, you're going to go down to Staff Login and click it. From Staff Login, you're going to click Site Administration. On this page, you'll be prompted to log in with your own Tetra Academy account. I'm going to log in with mine. You'll be redirected to this dashboard. Here you can view your existing websites, which chances are you won't have any right now. You're going to go up to this button that says Create New Site to create your website. You'll be prompted with this long form. Let's go through it step by step. First, you're going to name your site. So let's name it, for the sake of demonstration, my demo class. Okay? It automatically recommends a URL. I recommend you leave it here since I'm going to shorten it later anyways. We're going to go down to site categories. You can categorize it, but you don't necessarily have to. Site description is the same way. You can provide a description, but it's not mandatory. Now you want to leave this collaborate with section how it is, except check this box. Be sure to check that, otherwise parents and students will not be able to view your site. So you want everybody at tetraacademy.org and anyone in the world, both to be selected. Now you select your theme. You can select one of these three or click more themes and pick a theme. So let's pick a random one here. I'm going to pick parchment. And then you're going to click the create site button. Now your website's created. Here's a live preview of what your website's going to look like. Let's edit my home page. So we're going to edit it. This is a great place to put an introduction. So paste your introduction, maybe a little bit about yourself, whatever you'd like. Save it by clicking the Save button in the top right hand corner. It'll say your changes have been saved. Now let's add a new page. Do this by clicking the Create Page button with the green cross in the top right corner of the page. You have these options. Let's create the first page I would recommend. I recommend you place a page called About Me. Here you can post a little bit about yourself. Oops, self. Okay, so post an article, maybe a picture. So let's post a picture so you know how. Here, we're going to go to insert, image. We're going to upload your image. So go through, maybe you have a picture of yourself on your computer. You know, just so long as it's appropriate, yada, yada, yada. I'm just going to upload one for the sake of demonstration. Oh, look, we'll even use mine. Let's add image. Okay. Some more about me. That's how you add an image. You can also go and explore. You can insert a subpage listing, a table of contents, horizontal line. Do not insert Google AdSense, even if you have an AdSense account. Your site will be deleted if we find Google AdSense on it. You can insert a calendar if you know how to use Google Calendar. More tutorials on that will be posted on the IT Resources website. Um, you can insert a document, which um, just inserts one of your Google Docs document if you have them. You can insert a Google Map, Picasso Web Slideshow, Presentation Spreadsheet, Spreadsheet Form. You can even insert videos from YouTube and Google Video. And more. You have more gadgets, and you can explore this on your own and insert any of the gadgets you'd like. Now these are possibly the most important pages in your website. So we're going to create a page, and I recommend that you create an announcements page. So you're going to click on announcements, notice that the radio button has been selected. I'm going to put my class news. Sorry about that there, had a bit of a mic failure. 
Now we have my class news created. And we're going to create a new post each time we want to post some new class news. Just something random to put there. You can either save it as a draft, which means your visitors won't see it, and you can come back and edit it. Or you can save it, which means it's live. There you go. Now we go back to My Class News, and you'll have all your posts posted right here. It'll even say posted by. Now we're going to create a new page again. Now you're going to want to create a file cabinet. My class files. This is where you upload files relevant to your class, what's going on in your class, whatever you'd like. So we're going to go to add file. Choose an option to add a file here. You can add folders if you'd like. Now Let's go to Edit Sidebar really quick and Navigation. All right, it looks like this is already done up for us, but you want to make sure this box is checked. It'll make your navigation automatically get the latest updates. Now you can also add sidebar items. Let's say a countdown. I have to click it twice sometimes. Now we're going to click edit the countdown. We're going to say back to school. And then you choose the date. Which is August 13th. Okay. Always make sure you click save changes. Now your changes are saved. You can return to the site. Now it says we have 20 days left until school. And there you go. Now that's basically all you need to know. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to contact me, and that concludes this tutorial.